And lost in all the COVID, lost in all the election, it w is what is going on, what the president did yesterday with the declassifying of all the materials as it relates to the Ru Ru Russian collusion investigation. Peter Zane wrote an article, and I, I just want to, I, I think this sums up people's frustration. The crime is as clear as the fact they got away with it. Could you address that line? Because there's a sense that, hey, there's a whole set, different set of rules for uh, the ruling class in, in D.C., are you talking about with the Russia investigation yes. you said? I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. What's interesting about this, too, is now we, we are getting information in real time that it wasn't just Hillary Clinton. It wasn't just Barack Obama. It was actually Joe Biden being part of this as well. That's very problematic, not just for his campaign, but for the American people to now see behind the curtain that these people were mobilizing an entire federal government to try and take down and smear a private citizen, if they can do that to Donald Trump while he's running for president, if they can do that to Donald Trump while he is president, they most assuredly can do that to you as an American citizen. That should be terrifying, and, and, and these people should be held to account. We've been talking about this now for years, and every time the president said his campaign was spied upon, the media laughed, turned out to be true. We found out about uh, Lisa Page, uh, Peter Strzok, the two lovers uh, coordinating against this president time and time again. This is the government actually mobilizing against somebody. That is a very serious problem, and we hope these people are held to account. Somebody needs to go to jail. Hogan Gidley, thank you for uh, going overtime with us. We appreciate you making time for KSI. And uh, best to you and uh, everybody's continued good health. That's what we care about most, sir. Thanks, y'all. Stay safe out there.